And he gave it to Moses. When he had made it, he gave it to Moses. Okay, so he, not androgynous, not she. No, I emphasize it for everybody. I'm talking about that version. We about to give it to you. Be patient with this. You take a verse from the Bible, also know that you can take a verse, use it out of context if you don't read what's before and what's after. If you contextually read it and understand what it is, it does tell you in there that you are grafted in. You are adopted. 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 I don't have my Bible to 10 buddies to help me Google it. I gotta go, dude. No, you gonna drop that out of leave? No, because if all I gotta do is stand here and you're gonna say, Romans, Isaiah, no, I, Daniel, I, I, I'm giving Genesis, you, I'm giving you, hey, you Jesus you didn't come for you, mighty. You're the word. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. You can call us that Jew in Rome and in Greece. I'm cursing the field. When I look back on my history, man, I'm cursing they real. It's like I looked in the mirror, bro. This verse right here for me. And now I see why the enemy hate us. Hey, you. I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Okay. Tell me, well, all right, let's tell me who wrote that book. Let's see this. The King James Version. Who wrote King James Version Bible? Yes. Give me Exodus 36. Woo! Give me Exodus 36. Let's put a dagger in this thing real quick. Because you asked it earlier about who wrote it. We're going to say who wrote it. Hey, Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. And he gave it to Moses. When he had made it, wait, wait. He gave it to Moses. Okay, so he. Not androgynous, not she. No, I emphasize it for everybody. I'm talking about that version. We, we about to give it to you. Be patient and listen. That's the thing, you gotta listen. Exodus chapter 31 verse 18. Read. And he gave unto Moses. And God gave unto Moses. When he had made an end of communing with him in Mount Sinai. He was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. What did he give him? Two tables of testimony. Wait, two tables of testimony. Read. Tables of stone. Wait, wait, wait. Was it testimony of the people? Because he came early and said he wanted to give a testimony of his life story. Two tables of testimony. So the testimony was what? Tables of stone. Tables of stone. Oh, I like that. Written what? with the finger of God. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, like Boom. Back, right. Wait a minute. Right. So, right. tables of stone right. written with the finger of God. Back, right. How much more clear can you get what he got from the mountaintop? Bring it out. You know what you're saying is you don't know the history. They don't know. All I need is what God said. Written. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what you got. So, two things, and just please just hear me out till I'm, till I'm done. Okay, It'll be quick. Okay, don't be a long soliloquy because you know sometimes. No. Okay. Don't be a long soliloquy. <laughs> <laughs> so, the oldest manuscripts are in Aramaic. Okay. The King James Bible was what? Let me ask you just a simple one word question. What language was it translated from? Hey, Google it for me, say Wikipedia real quick about the Bible, but I'm going to tell you why he's getting it. Who is it? Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic, and it was scholars at the time that translated who actually spoke those languages fluently. I understand that, but... Sponsor the translation. He said he wrote it. No, he didn't say he wrote it. He said he sponsored the translation. Who is he? Who is he? Wikipedia about the Bible, about the uh, uh, translation of the 1611. Trans right, Google translated 1611. Who is Google? It doesn't matter. I don't have my book out right now. So if I have my book, I will show you. Sure, yeah. Google is. No, no. Where, where we at right now, man? Uh, Deuteronomy. Black man. But it's, uh, is Google. 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 Google.
Constantine was an Israelite, a wicked Israelite. And they and they trying to well, listen, let me show you something. Do you know, do you know how did Rome fall? Anyone y'all out here? How did Rome fall? Remember, Rome was the superpower then, right? Caucasians ran Rome, correct? How did Rome fall? How? Oh yeah, most I gonna set thing on fire. It's, it's, it's prophesied to happen. But how did Rome fall? I agree to Rome fell in 193 AD by the man of Septimius Severus, a black man, a gladiator. They took over Rome. So then you had the Israelites who were always the gladiators. When you watch the movie Gladiator Russell Crowe, that was us if you do the history. That was us in their fight. They overthrew Rome, the gladiators did, by his lead. Then black folks took over. 193 AD up until about the 1400s, 1500s. So we ruled over it. So at the time when Constantine got up in the 400s, was it 400s? I got you right here. Okay, go read it. It says, Everybody fighting something. King James I of England, this is a history lesson, read up, who authorized the translation of the now famous King James Bible, uh -huh. was considered by many to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest monarchs that England has ever seen. Read. Through his wisdom and determination, he united the warring tribes of Scotland into a unified nation and then joined England and Scotland to form the foundation for what is now known as the British Empire. You got, two, you got a black man who ruled two nations, Scotland and England. <laughs> the thing you don't realize that you're not understanding is that uh, the, uh, your people play word games on you because when they said that it was called the, uh, the Dark Ages, and y'all think about, we're going to get up on horses and jousts and, joust and castles. Dark Ages mean what they were saying, black people were ruling. Right. That's why they called it Dark Ages. Uh, During the time, white uh, black people ruling. So I'm now in America, we should be calling oh. America in these days hey, no, the White dope. Ages. Right. No, that's we want to be specific bro. about things. Read what you got. Let me this. At a time when only the churches of England possessed the Bible in English. Uh -huh. At a time, the churches only possessed the Bible in English. Remember, at that time, no people can read the Bible. You had to go to them and have to read it to you. Sound familiar? When we go to plantation, did we, did we have the Bible or do we have to go to them and let them read it to us? See how history repeats itself? At a time when only the churches of England possessed the Bible in English, King James' desire was that the common, pe uh, the common people should have the Bible in their native tongue. So he said, so King James decided why he was a king. He said, wait a minute. I'm going to all these Lutherans and Christians and everybody else and got them reading the Bible for you, right? So why he got to read the Bible? He's like, no, y'all should have the word of God on your own. You should be having it. That's why it was translated, because he knew what was going on. You got to remember the 1600s? What was going on in the 1600s? King James, a very His people was conquering at the time. Remember, we came over here in 1619. They started conquering the Hispanics in 1492. They were conquering us during those ages. So he's seen the writing on the wall. And we're like, you know what? I can make sure everybody gets involved because it's gonna come a time they ain't gonna know who they are. So he had to make sure we got this in our hands because he knew in, in future time, we was gonna be speaking what? English. And we, and we need to know how to get back to God. Watch it. Read, watch. Thus, in 1603. And what time? 1603. Uh -huh. King James called 54 of history's most learned men to he just said about writing the Bible, he came and asked a question, and then he didn't want to listen. That's why I said about the confusion. That male and drivers, no, it's fine, that was back to him. That's where the confusion part is, because you asked a question, then he came and remember what he said. The now you don't want to answer, that's why he's confused. That's why he kept saying he's a driver. He, she, me, they, say, whoever they are, all praise the most high. You go to the bathroom, sit down, stand up, I don't know, he's just trying to figure it out. Get the home, so you figure it out, so you get back. All praise the most high, let's go, read. At a time when the leaders of the world wish to keep their secrets in spiritual uh, subjects uh -huh. in spiritual ignorance. Uh -huh. King James he offered his wanted to keep the people in spiritual ignorance. When we come out and teach our people, we're not keeping you in spiritual ignorance anymore. We're teaching you. You're waking up. See, he just said spiritual ignorance. So when I said ignorance to you earlier, it wasn't a dig on you. It said you didn't know. So in order for them not to be in spiritual ignorance, he wanted to make sure they had the Bible so they'd be alert and be aware. So when they read it in the last days, they'll wake up. So remember, we had over 400 years when we couldn't even touch the Bible. Oh, you was, oh, you was what? You were hung on the tree. Now we can test that Bible. Now all of a sudden we're the enemy because we can read? I mean, what's funny? I'm you know what I'm saying? You gotta ask yourself that question. Why are they the enemy? Because they read the Bible now. Because they knew for the 400 years they had to stop the rise of a black Messiah. Read what you got. King James offered the subjects the greatest gift that he could, could give them. Read. Their own copy. They want the word of God in English. Their own copy. 
copy of the Word of God in English. So now we can get, we can kill all that James King James stuff. We already know he's black. We already know he translated the Bible. It says, "Such a man was sure to have enemies. One such man, Anthony Weldon. Oh, Anthony Weldon. There we go. Had to be excluded from the court. Wait, wait. This is the same man I talked about earlier. We put the put the rumors on the read. Weldon swore vengeance. You what? Swore vengeance. He didn't want King James to put that Bible out in everybody's hands. You're definitely not a black guy. the same shit that my white supremacist elementary school taught. No, 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 that's dope. But you know what? But so is he. That's dope. But so is he. No, 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 Here's, he says, I'm, I'm going to read first right quickly. He can do it Here's those that think of ancestry.com to the Bible. You can't go to church link. This, this is how you find out what nation you come from. Because according to God, there's no such thing as two and three and four and five nationalities. No such thing as mixed. Right? Let's see what he said. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Read. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. This is them in the wilderness. Remember, they all came out of Egypt. Remember, when they came out of Egypt, they were running out of Egypt. Right? Trying to get out of the way from Pharaoh, right? To the Red Sea. So now they're all over there in the wilderness trying to figure out where they're going to be. And they, Read. and they declared their pedigrees. And they did what? Declared their pedigrees. Your pedigree would be what? After that? Your bloodline. Where you come from? Your ancestors. So they had it all get together and figure out who was who and who belonged to who. How'd they do it? After their families? By the house of their fathers. So they did it by the house of their father. So whoever your father is, according to the Bible, that's who you are. It doesn't go through your mother. I heard that. So wherever your father is, you so If your father was black, I heard that. your father descended from the slave trade, he's an Israelite. I heard that. If your father descended from uh, uh, the slave trade in 1492 with the Kankisadors, he's an Israelite. It doesn't go by your parent, your mom. It only goes by your father. Why? Because the man carries what? It means we need to have man carries what? What? The seed. Man carries the seed. So nothing can grow without the seed. Right. So, so man carries the seed. So whatever the man put a seed in, that child is of him. You can't plant a flower without a seed. Right. For sure. So, so when you're doing your checking, you got to make sure you check your father as far as you can. Because here in America, we're going to go back maybe two, three generations. But whoever your father is, who you are. If your father was Asian, you're an Ammonite. You're a Moab. Okay. Yeah, I know you were born, born Jewish. Romans 9. I may be wrong. No, hold on with Romans 9. Were you born Jewish? I was born in America in 1980. And, and woke up to the fact that I was an Israelite. That's right. All right. So you said that Jesus is only preaching to the Jews, right? I ain't say that. The Bible said that. Well, the Bible said you you did your back your back up with that. So then, in the Bible, when it talks about the Gentiles and everyone else, okay, right? Yep. It says they were what? They were grafted in, and it also says adopted. Correct. To the Gentiles. Term, to the Gentiles. Right. To the Gentiles. And the Gentiles, everyone who was not a. No, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Look it up. That's wrong. You lied in the Bible. Uh -oh. The book of Matthew in the Bible. Watch this. The book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 15. Read. See, you try to get the Christians with it. Try to act like they're going to point and they run. Instead of let's give you the answer. I'm going to give you the answer. The answer. Come on, I got the answer, sweet. Let's go. Matthew chapter 4, verse 15. The land of Zebulon. Amen. And the land of Naphtali. Zebulon and Naphtali. By the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. You're missing history because you don't read the Old Testament. 
guys don't misquote. Uh, Northern Kingdom, listen. Northern Kingdom said, what did Jesus, what did it say after Jesus was in the Bible? And it said that the Gentiles who were are the Gentiles, Who are the Gentiles? The Gentiles were Nephthali from Ephraim on down. When, when, when they, the, the land. Hold on. Gentiles do what? What's the key thing with Gentiles? Hold on. Gentiles don't do what? Where do you consider yourself? Please let him talk. Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> I live here in America, Babylon the Great. So are you, uh, do you consider yourself more American or Israelite? I just said Israelite. Okay. So, it's the thing as American. It's so, not a nationality. So the Gentiles, I didn't say they're a nationality, right. and I didn't talk about where they live. Right. If you were not a Jew, it says you were a Gentile, correct? That's what the Bible said about the Northern Kingdom. No, don't give me the answers. You ain't listening. Uh, you gotta listen. No, you're not listening. Because, I'm going to try to go. I'm going to try to go. I'm going to explain what you're trying to say. No, I'm an Israelite born in America. They call me an American because I'm here in America. But my DNA, I'm an Israelite. Just like when, when we were in Rome and Greece was preceded Rome, they called us Grecians or they called us Romans. You're missing a whole captivity when the Grecian captivity, what we were called what? Greeks. So when Paul started talking about it, you're missing missing parts of the Bible, because wherever now we got took captive to, we were called that in that land. So we're the Israelites coming from Africa and got called Americans. Right. We're not Americans, we're Israelites. If, That's you right. a, if you take a verse from the Bible, also know that you can take a verse, use it out of context if you don't read what's before and what's after. If you contextually read it and well, understand read. what it is, it okay. does tell you in there that they are, you are grafted in. You are adopted. Adopted. Mm -hmm. Which one? Adopted. Which one? I don't have my Bible in 10 bucks. Help me Google it. Yeah, so you know, so you know, I gotta go, dude. Uh, but you want me to point and leave? You want to leave everybody I'm hanging? I'm trying to show you. My blood sugar is going nuts. You want to leave everybody hanging? No, you going to drop that line of lead? No, because if all I got to do is stand here and you're going to say, Romans, Isaiah, no, I, Daniel, I, I, I'm giving Genesis. You, I'm giving you hey, what you call Jesus you didn't come you're for you, YD. You're going to hell, YD. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 8. Free. Free. He Free. therefore that despises, despises not man. He ain't going against me, bro. Now but he's going to despise God. No, you despise God. You avoided we the part of God being grafted in. No, we God. trying to tell you who that is. You didn't want to listen. I'll, I'll, We're going to give it to you. Give me, give me first Maccabees 6 and 6. I'm going to show you. First Maccabees 6 and 6. This is going to answer your question. The book right. of first Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 6. Read. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath day. Wait a minute. It came a time in the Grecian captivity when we were under the Greeks, Alexander the Greek. We couldn't keep Sabbath day. If you don't believe in the Bible, you're not an Israelite. If you don't believe in the Bible, you're not an Israelite. 
That's all I gotta tell you. Because the Israelites keep coming back. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Romans 8 tells you that. If, if, if you do not keep your commandments and you don't believe in the Bible, you're not Israelite. This is why. Read. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Read. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. The Spirit and the Bible bear witness with your spirit. That we are the children of God. Or rejects it. Because your spirit can either accept it or reject it. Your spirit is rejecting it right now. Read that again. The Spirit itself bears witness. The Spirit and Bible bears witness. Read. With our spirit. Our spirit. Read. That we are the children of God. We are the children of God. The thing you understand is that the children of God keep God's commandments. The thing you You're not understand is you didn't use the words I was telling you that were in there when you said Romans you were going to show me. Romans 9. Oh. We're going to read it right now. This is this study is study Christian. Hey, you can't get this is Christian with all day long. The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 1. Read it First of all, I'm not a white man. You don't know who I am. Bruh, I've been trying to talk to you for the longest. You ain't listening. I'm telling you. But every time I, I give you something, then you answer. Like, I'm telling you the truth. truth. Do you hate me? Can I tell you the truth? Ain't nobody going to stand right here. Ain't nobody going to stand right here. That's what I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. If you don't believe in the Bible, you show me. Go ahead and love. No compassion. That's why I don't believe in the Bible. If you don't believe in the Bible, I got no love for you. I ain't got no love for you if you don't believe in the Bible. That's what I'm saying. You didn't call me names because I'm blue eyed and I'm light skinned. I'm God. You don't believe in God. You are not. He don't believe in God. He is not of God. Read what you got. For I could wish that myself were a curse for Christ. Read. For my brethren, uh -huh. my kinsmen according to the flesh. This is Paul. Who are Israelites. Who are what? Israelites. Israelites. So all the people get the adoption. So what? Wait, Israelites what? Put his head back on. No, Israelites what?